In this question, the table shows information about the heights of 80 plants. And in part A, we need to find the class interval that contains the median. Now if we have 80 plants in total, 80 divided by 2 is equal to 40. And so the median value will be found at the 40th position. And so what this means is that we need to find the class interval at which the total frequency reaches 40. And so we can use the cumulative frequency of this table in order to help us. Now adding another column with a cumulative frequency can really help you to find the median. So in the interval 10 to 20, we have a frequency of 7. In the interval 20 to 30, we have a cumulative frequency of 7 plus 13, which is equal to 20. Now 20 is still less than 40. We need to find the class interval which contains the 40th value. So now let's continue on to the next interval. Between 30 and 40, our cumulative frequency would be 20 plus 14, which is 34. And so we still haven't quite hit 40. Now between 40 and 50 centimetres, we have a cumulative frequency of 34 plus 12, which is equal to 46. And so that means the 40th value is found somewhere within the 40 to 50 centimetre interval. And so the class interval that contains the median is 40 to 50 centimetres. Now before we even begin to start part B, we can see just from the very first line of part B that we'll need to draw a frequency polygon to represent the information in the table. Now the data we have here is continuous data. And so when we plot the height when drawing the frequency polygon, we need to use the midpoint of each interval. And so we can add this to our table. The midpoint of the first interval would be 15. The midpoint of the second interval would be 25, then 35, 45, 55 and 65. And so we'll need this when we plot the information in our frequency polygon. Now we have a copy of our table above. And let's start by plotting the first points. Now we're plotting frequency against heights. And since we need to stick with the midpoint when drawing our frequency polygon, we have a height of 15 and a frequency of 7. And so let's start by plotting our first coordinates, 15, 7. Then we want to plot the coordinates, 25, 13. Then we want to plot 35, 14. The next point we want to plot is 45, 12. Then we want to plot 55, 16. And finally, we want to plot the point 65, 18. Now to complete the frequency polygon, we need to join these points together with straight lines. And so we've now drawn a fully correct frequency polygon that represents the information given to us in the table. Now this question is worth three marks. We get the first mark for saying that the class interval that contains the median is between 40 and 50 centimetres. We get the second mark in part B for plotting all of the correct coordinates in our frequency polygon. And we get the third and final mark for joining these points together using straight lines. And so we've now achieved the full three marks needed in this question.